Okay, I've got an air sign reading tonight. General reading for all air signs. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. What do I got to tell them tonight? The fact that I'm doing a reading like this is somebody is not showing their face. Maybe somebody is not speaking. Like absolutely not showing their face. Watch their hands. Watch the motion of their hands. Watch it up close and personal. I don't know. Okay, what's going on for my air signs? What's this reading about tonight? <sighs> the Page of Swords reversed. This is not a fun energy, the Page of Swords reversed. Okay? And the Knight of Swords reversed. Oh my goodness. Yes. So somebody could be talking a lot of malicious words and gossip about you with these two energies. There's also um, blocking your own self with words, vicious words, bitterness in words, imbalance here. In, there's an imbalance here. Childlike behavior. Um, yeah, my nose is itching like crazy with this. So this is a person learning what it means to create words with their real word create the reality with their words see how they get tied up with their words they're like they may not even make any sense because they're tripping up over their own words there could have been some slanderous statements being made somebody trying to impede your progress uh-huh or uh, words about your reputation, I want to say. The Eight of Cups, it's time to lift, leave this situation behind. You know which one I'm talking about. It's okay to search for more happy. It's okay to, uh, to yeah, remove yourself from people in energy like this. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's just not putting in the work. Shoddy workmanship. No effort. What else? The Eight of Cups is usually an energy of like, oh, these cups are empty now. I want more. I have to leave. Somebody doesn't want to rebuild with me. Somebody won't even show me their face. Somebody's acting like a fool. The Hierophant reversed. That's like stepping out of the box side, outside of the box of tr traditions. Somebody can, like this is a very spiritual card, but in in the reverse, it's somebody who's who could be um, using spirituality as a cover. The fool is reversed, so this is talking about taking risks, acting a fool. You know what I mean? Like very childlike energy here. Um, and now the three of swords reversed too. With both of these threes, you could be dealing with three people in a situation as well. Three of swords is you are you've been hurt by somebody. And somebody walked away without saying anything, like ghosted you, possibly, as well. Three of Swords reversed is now I'm healing. I'm healing. Queen of Wands. I'm creating a new beginning. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy out here. She came out sideways. So this girl's got a black cat. This is the witch in the dead. This Queen of, yeah, this Queen of Wands is telling um, half truths crossed by the Ace of Swords. Okay, half truths. And the Four of Pentacles reversed. So, uh, Spirit saying, wake up. Somebody's been, can't hold, somebody has been really guarded. And keeping to themselves. 
but is now opening up to uh, coming back with a love offer. Knight of Cups. Oh my gosh. Somebody had some severe worth issues, was feeling unworthy in a connection, Four of Pentacles. What else? The Lovers. Yeah, this is soulmate connection. It could be speaking to the sign of Gemini as well. Somebody had choices in love. I saw that with both threes here. And somebody's been lying. Somebody has, yeah, Seven of Swords. See, there's lying, stealing, cheating, the devil energy here. It's time to reclaim your power. I see you doing that here with this devil in reverse. What's the Seven of Swords about? Five of Pentacles is flipped over, feeling left out in the cold. And the Four of Cups. Somebody is hiding the fact that they're super, super depressed without this connection. That there is a mental battle. They were lying about some sort of mental battle, some sort of depression. Hi somebody is hiding a depression. Somebody's hiding deep regret and sadness. The Queen of Cups. Somebody's being very emotionally manipulative here. Chariot. This is also talking about like weird losses, accidents, travel delays. And the Four of Swords. Reverse. There's a lot of swords energy here. Wake up. Somebody is getting a wake up call. And the love offer coming in. Ace of Cups. Ugh. It's like somebody wants to start over. They're stuck in indecision though. With a lot coming at them. Eight of Wands reversed. They want to come in and message you. But they're still trying to control a situation as well. And power tripping here. And very stubborn to change. With the uh, Emperor reversed. Oh, God. And the Ace of Wands is right behind that. So somebody does want a new beginning. Somebody, the chemistry is there. But still somebody's telling some half-truths here. That's Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, Sideways. Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, reversed. Somebody is just wicked. Somebody is with their words. Like, very um, hurtful. Bitter. Okay, and, and the cards here are saying to walk away from the situation. Somebody's using the very unorthodox methods with the high reform reversed, um, the fool reversed, taking risks, um, not thinking things through before I'm doing things, not really putting work into a situation, causing pain and heartache to themselves and others. It's what, oh, I mean, this is like a mess. This Queen of Wands, ugh. I gotta say it's feminine energy that's showing up big time here. Is there any final advice for this crazy ass reading tonight? Or someone is like, I'm finally showing my, I'm finally showing my face here. But if you can see my posture, I'm like slumped over. The burden, the weight, it feels like this. This person walking away emotionally. Somebody's walking away just in their emotions, carrying a heavy burden um, about their own actions, about their own words. Somebody's waking up to the fact of what kind of loss this really was in their life, what their lies have done, um, and that this was a soulmate connection, even a marriage. Somebody's walking away even from a marriage. Somebody could be also be afraid to take a leap of faith, the full reverse. What's the final advice here? The emperor reverse and the empress reverse. I cannot make this. You just saw me shuffle this. They're both reversed, both masculine and feminine reversed in this case. <laughs> Not in, so this may be a power 
couple here. This is divine counterpart, soulmate connection. I've even said we've had the ace of cups here. We've had the fucking <laughs> the lovers here, the empress and the emperor here. You know, somebody could have some severe wounds when it comes to their mother and their father. Somebody is definitely trying to control and manipulate a situation here. The emperor and the empress reverse. It could be two people, it could be a mother, father, it could be a husband and wife here, just in their shadow, um, not allowing for flow, space, creation, honesty, reciprocity. It's all forms of uh, manipulation, and it is something from the past. That Six of Cups just wanted to hop right out at the camera, and the Justice card. So balance is being restored here and justice, whatever that means, lawsuits, magician, there's a brand new beginning. Somebody wants a brand new beginning. Somebody's tired of being single, nine of pentacles, reverse. Oh my God. That's all I got. I don't, this is a lot. My head's going bingo, 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 bingo. I can literally feel it. Bingo, bingo. I got to clear my energy. <laughs> A message from somebody. 11.23 on the clock. 1, 2, 3, bitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, yep, I nailed a bunch of truths in that one. I love you.